This installation will show how Mark E. Industries products work in conjunction with Noble Company's waterproofing materials to construct a flawless, watertight shower stall. To begin this installation, protect the 2x4 wood curb with 15-pound felt paper or other vapor barrier to prevent the wood from absorbing the moisture of the cement that will be used to fill Curb Perfect. Curb Perfect and all the wall boards should be in place before continuing. Be sure that the subfloor is clean and level. The 3 quarter inch Noble Flex drain flashing that will be used here is not as deep as the minimum mud bed thickness Quick Pitch and the center ring create. To compensate for this, the body or bottom flange of the drain must be installed a quarter inch above the subfloor. This will guarantee that the Noble Flex drain flashing will lay flat on the drain body and the mud bed simultaneously. Center the drain flashing tool over the drain body and roughly lay out how quick pitch will best fit your particular shower's shape. Reverse mark and cut all the sticks to the proper lengths and place them into their positions. The tabs on the thin end of the quick pitch sticks must be level with the drain flashing tool. Use two-sided tape to adhere quick pitch to the concrete subfloor. This holds quick pitch upright and in place while adding the one part Portland, four parts clean sand mortar mix that forms the mud bed. Mix the mud bed mortar to a humid consistency. This is just wet enough to form a ball when compacted. While taking care not to disturb the drain flashing tool, distribute the mud onto the floor area. Fill, tamp, and pack all the cells between the sticks fully and screed to the top surface of the sticks. When the screeding is complete, remove the flashing tool. The drain body must now be fully supported. Using mortar slightly wetter than the humid consistency, pack mud underneath the rim and fill the space the flashing tool covered. Next, fill Curb Perfect with this same type of mixture. Fill the vertical sides, followed by the top. Trowel the curb flat and even and allow entire area to dry overnight. Dry fit Noble Flex drain flashing and draw a line around the perimeter. Remove the flashing and spread latex modified thin set with a quarter inch by 3 16 inch V-notch trowel. Apply a bead of Noble Seal 150 in the groove of the drain body to guard against any water getting under the flashing. Install the clamping ring bolts and replace the Noble Flex drain flashing. Locate the bolts through the material and cut an X on the bolt tops. Push the bolt heads through the flashing material and make sure the flashing is fully embedded into the thin set. Temporarily place the clamping ring in position upside down to precisely mark the whole cutout. Remove the clamping ring, cut out the hole, reinstall the ring correctly and complete the mechanical connection by tightening the bolts securely. Spread the modified thin set in preparation for a pre-cut piece of Noble Seal TS. Apply two beads of Noble Sealant on the Noble Flex drain flashing and position the TS material carefully.
completely embed the material to avoid trapping any air pockets. Roll the Noble Seal TS material into the Noble Sealant thoroughly. Remove any excess finset. To make this installation totally waterproof, the use of preformed inside and outside corners are very important. Position an inside corner and mark with a pencil. Apply a bead of sealant into the joints and enough onto the back of the corners to assure sufficient coverage. Follow the same procedure to make waterproof connections to the curb using preformed chloralloy dam corners. Since tile setting products will not stick to chloralloy, it is essential that it be covered with TS material. Cut pieces of Noble Seal TS and use the sealant to adhere the material to the chloralloy. Always overlap pieces of Noble Seal TS by 2 inches and use double beads of Noble Sealant 150. Install the curb cover with a combination of Noble Sealant 150 and modified thin set. Noble sealant is used for chloralloy and noble to noble contact and latex modified thin set mortar is used for noble to cement and noble to cement backer board contact. Hang all the wall coverings. And back trowel into the thin set to eliminate air pockets. Be sure to embed the TS fully. Install the drain riser and protect the weep holes with pea gravel. Adjust the height of the riser for the tile that will be used and cover the gravel with the Portland sand mixture. Allow to dry overnight before setting tile.